YouTube. You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent physiques of greatness. Just got home from the gym, man. I'm over here preparing my potatoes. About to have me some ground turkey. Watch a little YouTube videos. Catch up on my people. See what y'all up to. Just got done working out with a subscriber. Didn't record. But man, shout out to my boy Morgan, POG Army member. We fucked them legs up. I appreciate the company. I want to touch on this topic um, that's been going around for months. And um, it recently got, you know, talked about again because the woman everybody was, for, was yeah, what everybody was referring to was on CNN giving her take on her side of the story or whatever. I didn't want to talk about it because I hate talking about topics without knowing the whole story. You know, there's two sides of every story, you know, and you can't believe every source you hear. So I wanted to get every, hear every angle. And Mark Lobliner gave his opinion on the situation as well. So I wanted to give my little 10 cents on the situation. I know a lot of people are going to be a little surprised about my opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine. Everybody's different. We don't have to all follow the bandwagon here. You know, I'm just giving my opinion. All right. Now, if you're familiar with the story, this woman, Mariah Kane, she's a fitness model, and she does coaching as well. She gets people from shit to fit for a living, and she does a little fitness modeling, okay? She posted a picture on her personal Facebook page. People were saying that she put this picture on somebody else's page. No, she posted it on her personal Facebook page. It got shared quite a few times. And um, a fat page. I, first off, don't be offended if I'm using this fat word. It's just a word. Don't get fucking offended. There's this, uh, there's this Facebook page that promotes um, fat people wearing lingerie. It's a, it's pretty much a company that makes lingerie for fat people, for full-figured women. Okay, and they got real offended, and they were like, oh, no, you're, you're fat bashing and whatever. The picture pretty much said, what's your excuse? She had three kids pretty much back-to-back, -back, and she still fit as fuck. What's your excuse? That's pretty much what the caption said. That's pretty much what the what the words on the uh, on the picture said. What's your excuse? I had three kids back to back. There's no excuse to be fat. You know what I mean? She even said that on her CNN, on CN CNN on live TV. That's pretty much what she was getting at. A lot of people took it offensive. They felt like she was fat bashing, making people feel bad about themselves. A lot of people on Facebook. A lot of my friends. Uh, pretty much were like, she was right, um, she wasn't fat bashing, fat people are just too sensitive, they should suck it up, get off the fucking couch or whatever. Um, I'm gonna have, I'm kinda caught in between the middle of the whole, was that an example of fat bashing. I'm gonna have to say, man, as much as I hate to say it, that's kinda fat bashing, man. I feel like that's, that's kinda fat bashing. Let me explain why. I'm into fitness, okay? This is my lifestyle. I love this shit. I'm addicted to this shit. This is my world. This is my zone. This is what I do. This is a lifestyle. It's a choice. Not everybody's obligated to work out. This is a choice. Just like not everybody likes to play basketball. Not everybody likes to play video games. Not everybody likes to jog. Not everybody likes to bowl. Everybody has hobbies and things they enjoy doing. You know, what she did is no different than some guy who loves to go to church. Posts a picture on, on Facebook with his fucking Bibles and he's like, What's your excuse for not going to church? You know, how would that make you feel? That's his lifestyle. He's forcing his beliefs on other people. You know what I mean? Another example. Um, like, like a guy who likes to fuck a lot of bitches. He had a picture on, on Facebook with a whole bunch of bitches, and he goes to some, and he's like, what's your excuse for being gay? All these bitches out here, and you want to be fucking gay? If you want to fuck somebody in the ass, fuck one of these women in the ass. Don't be fucking gay. What's your excuse for being gay? You know, or somebody who just got done, who, who quit smoking, he posts a picture with his nicotine patch on, like, what's your excuse for fucking smoking? Smoking cause cancer. Stop fucking smoking. You know, 
And the way I see it, man, I'm in the fitness. This is what I do. Me and fat people, we're not even on the same planet. We're not even in the same community. They do what the fuck they do. I do what the fuck I do. We're not even in the same fucking planet. I don't even think about them. And they don't think about me. You know what I mean? The way I see it, if you're really happy with yourself, you're secure with yourself, you're not insecure at all, they shouldn't even be on your fucking mind. Why do you care if fat people want to be fat? Why do you care if they got high cholesterol? That's none of your fucking business. You know what I mean? If you're secure with yourself, you really enjoy this fitness shit, you enjoy going to the gym, throwing up them fucking weights, eating clean, sleeping, posing, all the shit that come with this shit, they shouldn't even be on your fucking mind. See, a lot of people fail to realize bodybuilding and fitness all come from insecurity. A lot of people started lifting because they were fat, they feel a little insecure, they want to go to the gym and get a little confidence. You know what I mean? A lot of people started lifting weights you know, to feel better about themselves. 85% I'm willing to bet my left nut that a lot of people started bodybuilding to get some confidence. Either you were real skinny and wanted to get some size or you were real fat and wanted to get some cuts. You know, the story goes on. Me, for an example, I was already fucking bitches, but I would always wear a shirt when I would fuck. I got tired of wearing my shirt. I was insecure. I had little titties. You know what I'm saying? I had a little pot belly going. You know, it all, so people, so I'm not trying not to disrespect her, but maybe she's just a little insecure. And it showed with that post. If you're really happy with what the fuck you're doing, why the fuck you care what other people are doing? The only thing I will agree with is people took it too, the fat people got a little too upset. It's not like she posted that shit on their personal page. She posted on her personal page. People tend, people shared it a lot and a lot of people saw it and got offended. So it's not her fault people got offended, but at the same time, that message was unnecessary. Like I said, if you're happy with the fuck you're doing, you shouldn't give a fuck what they're doing. They're, Fat people, people who don't live, we're not even the same fucking league. To be honest with you, I don't even hang with people that don't even lift, really. The only people I fuck with that don't lift weights are people I went to school with, like my day one homeboys, and my family members. Really, none of my family members work out. You know what I'm saying? You ever see any of my family get-together videos, you'll see none of them lift weights. Other than that, everybody I fuck with lift. You know what I'm saying? Because we have shit in common. Really, if you don't work out, you ain't got shit in common with me. We're not even on the same planet. You know what I'm saying? We're not even on the same community. We don't even cross paths. You know what I mean? We, You don't even exist to me. You know what I mean? So, that's my take on it, man. You know, if you're really happy with what you got going on, you enjoying what the fuck you doing, you shouldn't give a fuck what they doing. And to be honest with you, I know this may sound fucked up in a way, but in my opinion, man, the more fat people, the better. You know, wouldn't you hate it if you just go to the club and everybody's in great shape? I would, that would fuck me up. I wouldn't even want to go. I want to stand out. I want to be different. I don't want to be like everybody else. That would really fucking suck if I went to the club and everybody's fucking ripped and jacked. Fuck that. You know what I mean? So more fat people, the fucking better. Stuff, the, stuff your fucking face don't ever work out. The more fat people, the better. All right? Let me know what y'all think below. I hope I'm not becoming, I hope that I don't feel like I'm insensitive or trying to be a dick. That's just my honest opinion. But anyway, I'm about to roll out and get back to my uh, cutting meal. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holler back at your boy. Chris Jones. Chris Jones.